In this video, I'm going to show you how to create databases and tables in MySQL using HeidiSQL. HeidiSQL is a uh, graphical user interface for MySQL. Uh, it's a third party one and it's, uh, it does pretty much the same thing as, as MySQL Workbench, which they're not going to support in the future. So uh, my recommendation right now is HeidiSQL because it's a really good uh, interface for MySQL. So I've already opened up HeidiSQL and it comes up with this window first and gives me a choice of what databases I connect to and what users. So I can make profiles for all the users uh, for MySQL. It will also do other databases. So it's a pretty good uh, database management um, GUI. So I'm going to log in here. So I'm going to put my password in. And you can see it brings me into here. Uh, let me close this down and go up a level. All right, so this is my uh, MySQL uh, running here, and here are my different databases in here. I have uh, the Sequila and the World uh, Example um, databases here. So we can go into uh, any one of these, and we can look at the table, and we can actually go up here and click on data, and it will show us all the data in the table. So it's a pretty simple uh, interface, but Today I'm going to show you how we're going to uh, create a, uh, a new database and then tables within that database. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to click up here on the uh, the uh, the very top of the uh, structure up here on MySQL on the server itself. And then let's create new and we're going to go database. And uh, we can name this whatever we want. I'm going to name this uh, just test DB. So we have the test database right here. So now we're going to highlight this and right click on it. And we're going to go create new. And and we're going to go table. So let's name the, the table, uh, let's name it address, addresses. So I'm going to add here, um, I'm going to go and add columns. So the first column I'm going to add here is going to be a uh, customer ID and we want it to be a, a data type of integer. These data types uh, will uh, tell you what type of data it is. Like if you integers are numbers, you tend to use those uh, w when you want to calculate and and have a, and, and have the data be dealt with as a number. Text is uh, different types of uh, text entry where you want characters to be read as text. So I'm going to I'm going to just do this as an integer uh, for the customer ID and I'm going to go over here to default and under default I'm going to go auto increment and that will auto increment uh, the uh, the uh, customer ID for us. Oh and the other thing that we want to do here is we want to we want to right click on this create new index and make this the primary key. So this is our primary key in the database. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is uh, create another column and we're going to name this just name. We could put first or last name, but this is just kind of a demo to get you into creating databases and tables real quickly. Uh, and we're going to use var char and we're going to just leave it at 50 length. We can actually change the length of that as well. And uh, so uh, let's add another one and, and make this uh, We'll call it address one and a lot of times we would put a second address field in there we're going to just leave one in this one for the example and we're going to go city and we're going to add state and we're going to add zip code i will just call it zip and we're going to leave these all on varchar the zip code can be like uh let's put that at 15 i think we only really need 10 or 11 for that state uh we'll leave it at 50 so you can write the full name of the state out all right so this is just a basic table right here and now um we need to go down here to save it and it's created an addresses table for us so that's a very simple uh way to create um a table and a, a database and a table in mysql using heidi sql uh i'll be doing more videos on sql and going over what some of these other data types are that you can use uh within uh, your databases, but I wanted to kind of get you up and running messing with this. So I've already done a video on how to install MySQL and HeidiSQL. So if you install those, you can actually now create a database uh, and create a, a table within the database. We'll also go over later how to use some of the other functions in in uh, HeidiSQL on some of these other test databases, like how can we l l add data, look at data, and so on.